Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome to Rain World, home of the slug cats apparently. The monk, weak of body but strong of spirit, in tune with the mysteries of the world, and empathetic to its creatures, your journey will be a significantly more peaceful one. That sounds nice. The hunter, strong, quick, with a fierce metabolism requiring a steady diet of meat, but the stomach won't be your only concern as the path of the hunter is one of extreme peril. The survivor, a nimble omnivore, both predator and prey, lost in a harsh and indifferent land, you must make your own way, with wit and caution as your greatest assets. This one sounds the nicest, but we're going to do I, the survivor. This sounds more balanced. Aww. An entire slug cat civilization. Oh, they're eating the moths. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, they are omnivores. Treacherous, where are they going? The pain. Rain world. I guess that's what makes us the survivor. Huh. The art style is kind of different than I was expecting. Pause. Map. Eat. Throw, jump. We don't have anything to throw. We don't have anything to eat. Wait, can I eat this stuff? It's green. We do slug cat things now. What? Oh, okay, they bent over. I was like, you're so flexible. How did they even do that? You are hungry. Find food. So supposedly we're supposed to... Oh, there's blue stuff up there. I don't know what is or isn't edible. You look like edible. I can climb! There we go. Catch and eat them. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just stupid, you hold it. Four is enough to hibernate. Well, why stop at four when you could get more? Additional food above four is kept for later. Nice. We're supposed to find our family. That's what the description he thing said. Jump and grab them, they're delicious. I knew it. I knew they looked like food. You are full. So I think it's telling me to go this way, but that's just a maybe. So if you fall into the pit, you can go up there. This vine. It's this vine, right? No? Alright, we're going down. Okay. So if you hold A and then push a direction and then let go, it jumps. Rain is coming. Find shelter. I wonder what the other ways were then. Uh, they probably just led here. This place is safe. Stay here to hibernate. Well, I hope we can get out.
before was used. So it just moves on to the next day? Is this just a day-by-day -day thing, or uh, did they do this days-by-stages, probably? All right, well, this thing knew that we were supposed to be done sleeping. Wait, I brought this berry with me. Eat it. Yeah, we're already ready to hibernate again. If all you need is enough to end the day, go explore. There is food and shelter to be found. Beware of predators. It's telling me to go back already, but I think that's just because Slugcat is already... What? Slugcat's already full. So, there's got to be, like, collectibles or something out here that I can level up with. I have found a spear. I am become powerful. What can I do with it? Hop, I threw it. It looks like spikes. It's telling me to come up here, but... Oh, no, it's just grass. Never mind. All right, we found a tutorial illustrating what was or wasn't spikes. Oh, can I not get through these? It looks like they're kind of sealed. Up, oh, they gotta have the light on to be working then, yeah? I was not where I was looking. I thought I was in that top right part. It's like a destroyed city. We don't jump high enough for that. I get that they want me to go there, though. Bottom didn't lead anywhere. But the top one leads to green stuff. Stuff on the left and right side, this is open as well. It's like it was made for a slug cat. There's too many out. Wait, what is that? I'm throwing a spear at it. Did I win? Because I won, I'm going this way. No? Is there a dig button? It took my spear. I needed that for things. I found another spear. Yeah. It didn't care, and now it's mad. You wouldn't follow me between screens, would you? We're sciencing. But that lets us get out here, and then we go back through there. And there's no way they can fit through that thing. Okay, the noise went away. Good. That doesn't mean that. Th what? I wasn't expecting this at all, let alone from the other direction. What a scary place we live in. They're really following me? This can't be the end of the slug cat. It's really cool that it shows us where they are. I'm going to throw this at you. It's lunging. We're pincered. Wait, they're fighting each other. We should use this opportunity to leave. All right, so I've noticed that there's lots of stuff that wants to eat us. And I also didn't find anything else other than food. I thought we were supposed to be looking for our family. I can't really... Am I just supposed to stick around here and survive? Alrighty, so I wasn't really sure what to do. Because it kind of seemed like I was just getting food and then coming back to this place and hibernating. And that there wasn't really... Too many other places I could go to, that I knew of at least. So I looked up some basic beginner tip things. And from what I saw, they said that we are supposed to be moving from location to location. But you need to hibernate a few times first. So we are supposed to stay here for a while and hibernate a few times. Whenever we get to a symbol, you need to get to the symbol that some kind of door matches. Like the symbol on the door. Or beyond it, I think. Whenever you die, you go down one. Whenever you hibernate, you go up one. And the little circles that are around the symbol down there, 
is how long we have until it rains. So if the, if you run out of circles, like see how one just disappeared? If you run out of circles, then it rains and you die. So you have a time, uh, that's the time limit. And there's a random amount or a different amount every day or something. Also, if you throw spears, they'll get stuck in walls and you can use them as platforms or something. But once you throw it into a wall, it gets stuck there and it stays there. But by hibernating a bunch of times and slowly progressing on, you're supposed to move towards the destination going to different ones of these sleeping hibernating chamber things. I'm not really sure at what rate though, or where any of those doors actually are though, or what these blue things are on the map. But it's going to require some work. I don't know if we're going to finish this. I hope so. I don't like leaving games unfinished, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anyhow, I need to regroup. So for now, since we're already here and we have lots of food, and we're mostly out of time anyway, for the day, before it rains, I'm going to hibernate one more time. That's going to take four off. And then we're one away from the top. So, I'm pretty sure we should be able to go through whatever door now. Next time we'll do some exploration and see where we can get from there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.